So Envision lets you build fully clickable, totally interactive, high fidelity prototypes like never before. Um, and it works in a very different way than most prototyping tools. Um, and it starts in the tool that you use most often, which is Photoshop. So let's jump in Photoshop. Okay, so here I designed all the screens in my application. I even, you know, set everything up in different layers so that if I move through this here, you can see the different states of my application. So this is all done just in Photoshop. And, uh, you know, I have the choice of how high or low fidelity I want to make it. If I want to go low fidelity, you know, I can build these screens as, you know, just like these, you know, black and white wireframes. It's up to me. Um, so when I'm all done, I've designed all my screens and I'm really comfortable with the way it looks. I could start with one screen or two screens, it really doesn't matter. I can just export all this to JPEG or PNG. So here they are in my folder, okay? And I go into Envision. Let me just create a new project here. So we'll call this, okay, great. And I'm going to just drop my screens right into Envision. So these are going to upload. I mean, usually you wouldn't be starting with this many screens, but um, if I want to get this stuff into Envision after one or two screens, but when it's all done. Okay, so once all my screens are totally loaded into Envision, you'll see that they're just, you know, down here, they're a full list of screens. Great. So I, I can filter this list. So I, I'm going to start off just working on the login part of this. Go to login. So I'm going to start on the home page. Okay, great. So this is my login page. So right now in Envision, we're just going to kind of mark the different parts of the screen that are clickable. So I'm going to start with my sign up free here. And you just select the screen that that should go to. Great. And then I can hold down shift and click. And you can see as it goes from one screen to the next. So I can just kind of work my way through this little workflow here. So just building my little sample app. Great. So this is inside my app. So if I want to say, for example, I have some nav. So a lot of times you're going to have like links that are kind of global that apply to many different screens. So we have a templating feature. So you can create a little template here. I'll call this my standard template. Great, and I can actually turn this hotspot into a template hotspot. You see it changes color. So now any other screen I create, I can just kind of apply this template and those hotspots will appear in that place. So this makes setting up an app in Envision like really fast. So if I go here into experience mode, so you'll notice these different modes here. So build mode lets me build, experience mode lets me kind of see how the app works. So I can click through from screen to screen and because of uh, the caching that we're using here you'll notice that it really does feel like you're moving through a real application and that's the idea we want to try to simulate a real app as much as possible because that's the key to prototyping so let's say I'm ready to share it with um, some colleagues or a client I can click share I'll get a handy little share link here so I'll copy that to my clipboard and so I can send this off in an email, an IM, wherever, and the person doesn't need to log into Envision. They can just open the link and voila, there you go. They can click through the experience with zero latency. All the screens are preloaded. And it really looks and feels like a real application. Um, we have a couple extra little features here for that person. Uh, we have a tour mode. So let's say they just want to kind of know on which pages uh, for each page where the clickable spot is. They can click around like this. They can also leave comments. This is key. Um, you want to really gather as much feedback from your team and you know from your clients as possible. So there you go. This is saved. So automatically by them leaving a comment, I'll get an email notification. And I'll also be able to go through and see a global list of all of the comments for an entire project. Kind of the other little benefit of this is that you can mark these off as um, being completed once you've kind of addressed those issues. Look at there, and that's it. So, I mean, that's really Envision. Um, Envision lets you take the screens that you build already and turn them into a full fidelity, clickable, interactive experience. Um, it's really prototyping taken to the next level, and we think you're going to love it.